And just like that, I'm back again. Wow, after going so long, here I am, streaming two different games in the one night. And so, so soon after one another, too. But here we go. Here is the uh, newest installment in the Doom series. And the game I was oddly excited to get my hands on. Not excited enough to get it day one, obviously, but still excited to get it. I've already played a tiny bit of it, but... Only enough to familiarize myself with it. Well, I use that term loosely, but uh, here we go. Let's see. Do I want to go for ultra violence or hurt me plenty? Maybe ultra violence? Maybe we'll try ultra violence. Yeah, the rest of this stuff should be. I got the master volume turned down a bit, just in case. Uh, everything with the video should be fine. I think it's going to ask me to do all these settings again when I start a game anyway, but, you know. Yeah, screw it. Let's try ultraviolence. I think I can adjust it later in the game if I'm feeling wussy enough to do so. Sadly, I don't think there's a Crova milk bar anywhere nearby, but... So you walk eternally through the Shadow Realm, standing against evil where all others falter. May your thirst for retribution never quench, may the blood on your sword never dry, and may we never need you again. So I've gone from one monumental badass in a power suit exter exterminating Metroids to another monumental badass in a power suit exterminating demons. Works for me. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Rip and tear is something with huge guts, I hope. And this is how we begin. Conveniently placed gun. Hi, you. It's a dinky little shooter, but it gets the job done. Oh, look, it's a me shaped hole. We have to contain this. There's no containing me. I'm a man and a half. I wonder what the protocol for that is. Yeah, I see the same ship when I put my underwear on in the morning. Thank you. 
cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Rezop satellite is brought back online. I like how the computer says that as if it's a common occurrence. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. Optimus Prime? I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Doom Marine. Additional relics were found in the tomb alongside the Doom Marine. Oh my god, they're outright calling him that now. Personally, I prefer Doom Guy, but... Some incantation tablets and an ancient combat suit, which was given a name, the Praetor Suit, when found. It was encased in an inscribed stone tomb. The suit was extracted from the rock, cleaned, and subjected to numerous tolerance tests, and found to be almost impervious to any damage. It appeared to have some mechanical function as well, small receptors on the gloves and chest plate that attracted urgent plasma and dissipated it through the capillary tubes and the substructure. Markings on the armor were also consistent with images of a man or humanoid seen in several of the tablets and stones found on other expeditions. Same markings were also noted on the helix stone. Despite it being clear that the suit can be activated in some way, no method has been found to do it. It appears to be missing a component, likely the Doom Marine himself. Yeah, pistol, pistol stuff, nice. Prepare to suit the tab, allows you to upgrade a variety of... Yeah, 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 I don't have any tokens yet. Weapon upgrade points, don't have any of them either. But no, I love how Doom Guy does not give a shit about this Samuel Hayden guy. Optimus Prime. I like how he doesn't give a shit about him. It was like, you know, he just awakens from his stone coffin. And all he knows is that there's a demonic invasion in progress. And he needs to kill them all. I'm imagining this is his only goal in life anymore. And that, my friends, is a glory kill. The Possessor created in the Lazarus, event, uh, Lazarus Wave event, a phenomenon first discovered by Dr. Olivia Pierce during the, her Lazarus project. While most victims exposed to urgent biowaves will expire without further effect, some subjects will absorb traces of urgent energy and enter a state of posthumous vigor. Despite necrosis of the internal organs, with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a low order of sentience for weeks or even months after clinical death. Posthumous brain activity in the possessed is limited to instinctive behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. When isolated, they will often enter a dormant state for extended periods of time. They will stand unmoving for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. An interesting behavior has been seen when the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens and then perform a silent ritual around the pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stages of a gore nest. These actions must be driven by a telepathic communication with higher-ranking demons as there is no local brain activity that can manage such choices. The possessed will perform these tasks even when limbs are removed or Pavlovian pain responders are implanted in their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves performing an integral part in the life cycle of demons. The possessed create the birthing ground for new demons and upon expiration are themselves used as fertilizer for the gore nest. Chunky salsa. Oh look, I'll be taking that. I call shotgun. Hello, beautiful. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Oh, it's an imp! I remember these guys. These ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell and are often used on the front line in a concerted attack in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the hunger takes them.
Ooh, something gooey's out there. There we go. What exactly is a safe level of demonic presence? Sires of demons upon entering this dimension have shown that their conduct is not purely vindictive. No. There is a method behind their actions. When a demon captures their prey, the fresh kill is taken to a temporary ceremonial site where arcane rituals are performed on the pile of blood and gore. When enough corpses have been gathered, the ceremonial site becomes a gore nest. These sites, imbued with hell energy from the rituals, act as umbilical cords to hell. Extreme caution must be taken when approaching the gore ne a gore nest. Attacking the nest, or indeed any demons within close proximity to the nest, will act as an alarm and siphon more demons from hell. Which I'm assuming I have to deal with right there. We go. Get down from there. Come back here, short stuff. Need help. Thankfully the best way to gain health is to uh, engage in acts of ultra-violence. Oh, there you are. Doom guys can't jump. Oh, there you are. The power of my rage is such that I hover. Okay. I don't believe I have a healthier or more deeply felt respect for any object in the universe than this here shotgun. I'm sorry I had to use that quote. I can't not. Of course, that respect, as we know by history, is only going to last as long as it takes me for me to find a bigger gun. I suppose that's the way I need to go. Yeah, there's probably not much of uh, any use kicking around here. He cannot be allowed to leave this place. Everything. Ruining things is what I do best. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand. <laughs> yeah, because the use of hell energy is such a great idea, Ames. Now it's time to get my ass to Mars.
I tell you, that's mankind for you. They go to an uninhabited planet and they just leave their shit lying around all over the place. Despite the discovery of liquid water on Mars in the early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal about beyond exploration for the next century. With the discovery of the Urgent fr Fracture, a trans-dimensional stream of unrefined urgent plasma in 2095, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands of Earth. However, the need for atmospheric conversion and terraforming of the Red Planet was a task that seemed insurmountable to all but one corporation. The UAC. Through their diligent dedication to technological advancement and forward thinking, an outpost was established in MTC 2096. I don't know what MTC stands for. Whatever. To extract urgent plasma from the fracture. When this plasma is subjected to UAC's from fermionic transference pattern, urgent energy is produced. This remarkable venture eventually bore fruit, as urgent energy became the primary power source for all of Earth. New visitors to the UAC facility may take for granted the rich atmosphere while on the surface. I don't know what I just did. Ah, oh, there we go. But it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago... God damn it, I did it again. A few short decades ago, Mars was an inhospitable desert that could support no life. Unauthorized exploration into the exclusion zones outside the base is not allowed under any circumstances. Highly volatile experiments and artifacts are frequently researched at a safe distance away from the base. And your safety in these areas cannot be guaranteed. Okay, so from what little I can get from what's happening so far, I think this is the same dude from the first couple of games that you're playing as here. And I guess Hell must have sealed him away because he was just too dangerous to keep running around. Hey look, there's dudes. I'm a kill. Imp. Actually, it's not him. I don't know who that is. That's an imp. That man doesn't... Holy shit. I'm actually... Hello. What just happened? I'm dead. That's what happened. Okay. Maybe I'm not the berserker pack of man and a half I thought I was. Okay, let's try that again, except, you know, less death. He says as he falls on insurmountable height. That's okay, the suit can take him. are playing hopscotch. How adorable. Wait. There we go. That's better.
just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. No, go away. your home and fuck up your shit. Although apparently, to be honest, I think that's what I'm doing now anyway. Hey, you're a problem. You need to die. Right about way of doing it. Beautifully brutal. Anyone else want to be a hero? No? No? Nobody? Blue key. Classic. Lucky me. There's a blue key. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. Thank you. have any arms you can use that with, so if anything, I'm doing him a favor. Ah, grenade. Now I wonder how many secret areas am I actually going to be able to find. Very few, I imagine. I'm usually not good for that thing. Possessed soldier. While Lazarus Wave exposure does effectively wipe any vestige of human behavior from most of its victims, some subjects continue to display tactical cognizance posthumously. As with possessed engineers, this does not appear to be random. If an individual has training in combat as part of the UAC military, you know, a corporation is always on the up and up if they got their own military. The Lazarus Wave event will transform them into more than mere slaves. This anomaly further supports the theory that there is some form of genetic coding embedded within the Lazarus Wave particles which governs the outcome of Lazarus Wave exposure on a per case basis. You gotta wonder exactly how often this shit happened while they were building this place if they've got such detailed info on us. I mean, it's basically what happened in the first game, first couple of games too, I guess, but, you know. Can I upgrade things? No, I don't have any upgrade points. Anyway, I have a grenade. I'll use the grenade. Sweet. shotgun on that thing. I wonder. I doubt my pistol can reach that far, but... No, it can. Never mind.
Oh, imps. I love how many different creative ways there are to brutally kill things in this game. Breaker. You know, when I retire from the demon slaying business, I think I might build a summer home here. I mean, you know, I'm assuming that's the sunset. It's a really nice looking sunset if it's the sunset. This is the way I might need to go. Or not. Mm, okay, let's head back this way. There's going to be a lot of poking around looking for secret areas. I see it coming. For better or for worse. That's a little floaty thingy. Oh, weapon mods. Explosive shot, hold weapon mod button down to charge up our explosive rounds. Hold the weapon mod button to charge up a three round burst with tighter spread. I like it when things go boom. I love how violent Doom Guy is to get everything he needs. Oh, see, now I made the drone sad. I feel, I feel terrible. Maybe blowing something up will make me feel better. Okay, that kind of made me feel better. Hello. Goodbye. Well, there's really no such thing as cover in this game, so I should not be standing still that long. Droning McDrone face was. Can 
Can I get in here? Yes, I can. No, <laughs> no, I don't need to be walking off a cliff tonight. Um, was there any point to me being able to come out here? Not really. I'd probably go up here though. Brings me back around this way. Hello. All those screechy things. Nope, nope, nope. Look, you guys. That was a mean thing to do. Prick. 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 of tones of screeching demons. Also this guy. Uh. Okay, let's uh, take the lower road. Health Father. Who said you need an arm? see that coming. <laughs> the berserk power-up turns your fists into demon-crushing bludgeons. Good to know. Wish I had one. Okay, well that was neat and all, that also means I didn't actually kill anybody with that grenade. I just dinged a guy in the head with it.
I'm not above shooting a demon in the ass. Sniper duel with an imp seems like a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Guys, I hate those guys so much. Arm, classic bludgeoning weapon. Does he really need to keep doing that? Oh shit. That's not good. That's, that's not good at all. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that, um... Maybe could have been handled better. Can't fathom how, but better. get inside the place, correct? Fire door seems like a poor option. This way. Hmm, rails out. Ooh, stuff. More stuff? More stuff. Hehe. <laughs> 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 
maxed out on that shit. Do I hear things? I hear things. I don't like hearing things. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident-free days. I want to update that. God rested on the seventh day, but imagine how much further along we would be if we hadn't. The UAC is committed to excellence. That's why we implemented the seven-day work week. Now you can achieve greatness alongside your co-workers every day. Let's never stop achieving. You've abolished weekends, you monsters. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. Well, I guess that's it for this place. The music is very Doom. I'm loving it. I see, I'm enjoying this game so far, but, um... It's making my PS4 sound like it's about to spread a rocket and, like, fly through the ceiling. It's making that much of a racket. I mean, you guys probably can't hear it through the mic, but, uh... Yeah, when the action starts getting really intense, it starts sounding a bit like a jet turbine. Yeah, this is some good old classic gameplay right here. Get from point A to point B and kill everything on the path. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Uh, two for a kill, two of the possessed with one trigger pull from the shotgun. Explosive should help with that variety of spice of death. Perform five different glory kills on the possessed. And quite the explorer. Find three sequence. Uh, sequence. <laughs> Secrets. That one is probably going to be the hard one. Hmm. Often referred to as droppers, these drones were developed by the UAC auto to autonomously receive and deliver ordered parts to engineers, off-duty employees, and soldiers. Vega 1. Running the Argent facility takes a lot of power, not just electrical and mechanical power, but computational power. With so many interdependent systems feeding off a single power source, the UAC decided it would need to create a central mainframe computer to manage not only the flow of Argent energy, but the day-to-day -day operations of a facility with over 60,000 employees. This megacomputer, the brainchild of Samuel Hayden, the head of UA the UAC, and that dude has been talking to me, would exceed the computational ability of any system before it, and more importantly, would be recognized as the first truly autonomous artificial intelligence entity. They named it Vega. Wait, isn't Vega the name of that guy in Street Fighter? You know, the one with the claws? Pretty sure it was Vega. Vega starts yowling at me and, you know... Jumping around and shit. Howdy, folks. Come to the hallway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, note to self. Maybe I should soften a couple up first before I do that. I am. Fault entrances 
is not operational. Yeah, I should have known that wasn't going to work. Ah, oh, there we go. Shot for you. Shot for you. Oh, there's no call for rudeness. There. Uh, let's see, I can upgrade... Pistol or the shotgun. How do I upgrade? Ah, there we go. Let's see, speedy recovery reduces the recharge time, bigger boom increases the size, instant load removes the loading time for an explosive shot. Let's go bigger boom. Explosions are nice. New power offline. All entrances not operational. It's an R1. Hold on for now. Oh, Jesus. I did not even see him. Ooh, I got a pretty view, too. In case it wasn't obvious before, I'm pretty sure she's the bad guy. Resource Operations. The Resource Operations Center, referred to as ResOps, was one of the first facilities constructed at the Mars base after the discovery of the Argent Fracture. It encompasses several key areas needed to run the facility, including pa plasma extraction and processing, isotope stabilization, heavy metal, metal, and ore mining, artifact analysis, communications networking, and off-world transportation. New UAC employees posted to the Mars facility are expected to fulfill a tour of duty in ResOps before moving on to their specialized career bracket. Security Clearance Level 1 allows access to all areas of ResOps, excluding the Vega networking hubs and some satellite control centers. For access to these locations, new advocates must... Advocates, interesting word to use. Must submit a Delta Q Delta form to the Departmental Enforcer. Uh, Bureau of Politics, am I right? She's going to keep talking.
trapped down here for lord knows how long I just drove him in the head. I could be confused. Especially now. And what will be your Taking that. Now, do I go up or do I stay down here? Choices. Ouch. Yeah, almost looked like he wanted to get in there for some reason. You would have a seat alongside of just I'll be honest, I can't understand the map that well. I'll just muddle on through. Everything will be fine. Was there a purpose to coming up here? Especially now. And what will be your final moments in this world? I mean, can I get over there? That'd be cool. Would, I like, would, 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 they, would they let me go over there? Maybe? The demons. It's true. My sisters and Alright, fine. I'll go this way instead. You will have a seat on I've only got one regular kill on these guys. <laughs> During a Lazarus Wave event. Not possess engineers. Victims undergo dramatic changes to physiology, both internally and aside from fundamentally changing the composition of their internal organs. The high intensity plasma wave is strong enough to fuse metal to skin. In many cases, personal items such as watches and jewelry can burn through the skin and become permanently embedded in the victim. Perhaps the most unfortunate victims of this fusing event are any subjects that happen to be working with acetylene tanks or welding equipment. As this equipment is often attached to the body to allow for mobile work in low-gravity environments, the Lazarus Wave will create a demonized human with a highly combustible explosive device embedded in the skin. As with all possessed creatures, they are mindless and driven through some form of telepathic communication the weakened container. can turn the possessed engineer into an explosive projectile. Oh, this is a danger to any being nearby. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown. Ah, jeez. I bet you guys just fuck right off, okay? Oh no! <laughs> I got lucky. Precious health.
Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Damn right it is. Really wish I had more ammunition for the uh, big boy here, though. Oh, I ask and you shall receive. I'm just thinking of another game. <laughs> Visceral cleanup detail. I might stream that one too if I get the opportunity. <laughs> New advocates. And in that vision they saw the future. Bold and powerful. And the many worked as one to bring the new order. What better words to inspire you as you set about initiating yourself into the UAC? Those who came before you and those who serve with all... Certain... Those you serve with all operate with the same goal in mind, the, develop of the development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this principle of teamwork that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. That doesn't sound omin ominous at all, I know. If you have any new suggestions to improve the work environment while working your tenure in ResOps, please submit suge suggestion form WADE1M4 to your command controller. However, it is imperative that you learn to accept the things you can't change and follow the path that has been laid out for you. Your service in ResOps is a test of your devotion to the cause. Should you be asked to submit yourself to an interrogation program or experimental treatment, you are expected to comply without question. If a fellow advocate asks you to engage in a dedication ceremony, say yes. If you see an advocate doubting their role at the UAC, bring it to the attention of an enforcer so that they might receive the help they need. Don't be selfish. Tier 2 is for everyone. It's beginning to sound vaguely cultish. Can't say that comes as a surprise. How do I get up there? This way, I assume. What's this do? Oh, that's what this does. And that's how I got up there. Mm, which way? Maybe I'll climb the thingy first. This almost looks like a spot I shouldn't be going. So let's go there. Oh, leads me to the same room anyway. In a more roundabout fashion. Oh, look at the pretty plant life. Yeah. Look at the indestructible plant life. Are you ready to move on? To take on new challenges? To become more than you ever dreamed you could be? Talk to your supervisor to see if you meet the requirements for this year's Soul Harvest. Soul Harvest? Anyway, none of that matters because I have the great communicator. Great communicator now. Chainsaw is a specialized melee weapon that is accessed by pressing square. Using the chainsaw requires fuel. The bigger the demon, the more you need. Cutting a paired demon with the chainsaw will always drop a surplus of ammunition. 
It will cost 1, 3, or 5 fuel to kill a demon depending on the size. Upgrading your ammo capacity with urgent cells will also increase your fuel capacity. There have been reports of this item being seen at the Argent facility, though there are no known uses for it. Security personnel have been made aware that this item is, has likely been smuggled onto Mars and have been directed to confiscate it immediately, as there are no practical uses for it. It must be assumed that this item should be considered a black market enthusiast weapon. Or maybe somebody knew I was coming. The UAC. The world is counting on us. How committed are you? Please say they give me something to chop up with this. Hello, MP. No, this guy. Now I have to find the yellow key. Because of course. Access denied. Yellow security limits required. Access denied. Yellow security limits required. Security station activation report. I mean, if they say so. I'm Texas admin. I mean, you know, I could, but I'm assuming they're dead. The UAC. The world is counting on us. How can it be? Thank you, magic machine. Oh shit! <laughs> and that's what I get for- oh look, that's no way to get ahead in life. That's what I get for not paying attention. Be on the lookout for the UAC Marine Guy line of toys, there are two in each map. And they will unlock character and weapon models for you to view in the collectibles menu. Interesting, interesting. Wait, the last checkpoint was here? Okay, I've already taken the chainsaw, though. That, that's good. That's good. But I haven't gone up there yet, apparently. Okay.
except I have because the armor no oh, the armor is here all right here at the UAC we take pride in nurturing a growing workforce and each year we harvest only the best of the best are you ready to move on to take on a new challenge I need to do this again, probably yeah, not. But... Yeah, 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 the possessed dude, but the key went that way, I know. Um... Okay, note to self, let's not get crushed by a train this time. Or whatever the hell it is. going to get crushed by him. Howdy, gents. <laughs> I think I'll put my boot up one's ass to kick the other one in the spine. That's the Doom Guy way. All of this equipment looks terribly expensive. Be a shame if something were to happen to it. Access denied. Yellow security clearance required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get you yellow security clearance. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, dude in the wall. Always classic. Oh, there's one of those damn nests here. As I attack this thing, all hell is going to break loose, quite literally, so, uh... Well, exploration, maybe, first. Okay... Not much exploration. Let's just... Smash the damn thing, come what may. Oh, here we go. Done. You too.
Duck and move. Duck and move. Oh crap. Oh, I was so close to killing that guy and getting some more health too. Let's try it again. Although I think I'm soon going to call this quits for the night too. Although this is striking me as the type of game where um You know. I'll just want to keep going. It's yeah, it's getting I can't I can't be for sure. Demand presence at not safe in Lockdown in Again, I can't help but ask what a safe level of demonic presence is, but I'm sure there's, there's, there's such a thing. How can I get that low health that quickly? Yes, please. Oh my god, direct hit. Okay, one more try. One more try. If I can't deal with these dudes this time, I think I might just call quits here. Demonic presence at unsafe level. Lockdown. Demonic presence at unsafe level. Lockdown. Should be all. Now, once again. Dude just exploded, man. Oh, hello.
This goes, seems to be going somewhat better. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Crap. That's beautiful. Chainsaw. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and I'm noticing the stream quality is actually starting to get pretty shitty, too, for some reason. Maybe it always was, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. All the more reason why I should probably call it quits soon. Um, tell you what, let's take another quick look around. Maybe it's just there's too much movement in this game. This facility is so shitty I have to provide my own uh, elevator music. Is that him? If it is, what killed him? Oh, hi, drone. Okay, I now have to charge a burst thing. Okay, that's explosive shot. That's charge burst. Peachy friggin' keen. Eh, he'll be okay. Jump scare. Jump scare. Always a fucking jump scare. <laughs> Is that a trick these guys are going to do now? Yeah, okay. Oh, hey! Wait, wasn't there a uh, yellow door I was able to get to up there, too? Yeah, let's go check that out. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> what? How? Doy. Okay, see, stupidity like that 
is my body's way of telling me that I'm probably getting too tired to carry on with this. So let's go find that yellow door. Carry on long enough to get to another checkpoint. And then I'm done. <laughs> Oh no, won't let me up there. It's annoying. I mean, I got the right card and everything now, man. Access granted. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation, located in the vast Hellas Plain Impact Basin. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the UAC. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Thank you for your service. Ooh, what's this? I have a new toy. Heavy assault rifle. Although recently superseded by the plasma rifle as the UAC's standard issue weapon, the heavy assault rifle is still in widespread use due to its dependable mechanical firing mechanism. High accuracy at long range and an abundant supply of ammunition. The weapon is effective at all engagement distances and is best used against a solitary target unless a micro-missile modification is present. Standard issue ammunition is a 50 caliber FMJ round. for them. Okay, so how do I do that? I hear something. Welcome to the UAC's Mars installation, located in the vast Hellas Plain impact basin. This high-tech mining and research facility is pushing the boundaries of the imagination each and every day. As a valued employee, your loyalty is more than just a commitment to the UAC. It's a commitment to the future of mankind. Thank you. Okay, so that'll lead me to the next area. Uh, I still might want to go back and check to see if I can get to that yellow door I saw earlier. So, if that's the case, I'm going to leave it there. It's kind of shitty that the stream quality seems to have suffered in the last little bit of this particular event, but, uh, yeah. There we go. So that's not too bad. Did a little bit of Metroid 2, did a little bit of Doom. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of it and, um, start streaming again soon. Um, I may even go so far as to go back to doing SNES Sundays like I used to, which, for the uninitiated, is me playing a classic Super Nintendo game on a Sunday. Exactly what it says on the tin.
But uh, this was just a um, brief foray back into the world of streaming, so hopefully I'll be able to... Well, I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to do it on anything resembling a regular schedule, but whenever I get the opportunity, I'll go ahead and give it a go. So, if anyone dropped by to watch, thanks for uh, coming along and watching me run around like a moron, and trying not to die, and mostly succeeding, occasionally failing. But, um, it's been fun, and hopefully you'll stop by to watch again sometime. So, thanks for coming out, and good night, everybody.